Hello and welcome to another episode of Blake's Take where I unpack customer experience in three minutes or less. Today I'm going to define what customer experience means to me. This is a question I have been asking everyone. Some of you might know I'm writing a book on customer experience and it does interest me to hear how different people in different companies define customer experience because there is no one definition, there is no standard. Sometimes a company will start a group within the company that's called the customer experience group. If you think about it, this makes absolutely zero sense because customer experience is everyone's responsibility within the company. You can't hire one group to um, sort of put it into the, the blood and the veins of the company. It doesn't work that way. You need to have it communicated from the very top at the very beginning that customer experience is everybody's job. I interviewed two people today on my podcast show, The Modern Customer Podcast, about what they thought customer experience meant. One gentleman is, the na is named Skip Alums, and he is the team lead. He's a designer over at PayPal, and he said that the way they approach customer experience is they really think about what the customer is doing day to day. They want to know what is the customer's relationship with money, how is finance for that customer, and everything about that customer journey, and what the customer is looking for in a product like PayPal, which of course is has to do with money and banking. Another gentleman I interviewed today is named David Edelman, who actually works at McKinsey. He is the co-partner of sales and marketing over at McKinsey, and he had an interesting comment. He felt that customer experience had to do with the customer's ability to get things done. Because why else would you purchase a product or a service? You're purchasing a product as a customer to get something done. So how is the company adding value, teaching that customer how to get the most out of that product at every step of the journey? My personal view on customer experience, it's not a department, it's not a set of rules, it's a philosophy, it's a way of thinking. For example, a great company, you walk in and you go to Bob in finance and you're like, hey Bob, you know, what do you do? What's your job here in finance? And he says, Oh, I'm building a customer experience. Hey, Linda in recruitment, what's your job here? Well, I'm actually in the business of building a customer experience. Same with marketing, product, engineering, customer service. Everyone knows that every day they come to work to build an incredible customer experience. So that's all for Blake's Take. Until next time, thank you for tuning in.